An alternative to artificial neural networks is our support rate machines. And uh, they have been very popular maybe last decade. And uh, they're easy to understand and sometimes they're more powerful than artificial neural networks. Uh, and I think it's basically, as we go back to these experiments, we, have, so we want to separate things into groups. So if you have m points in an n dimensional space, so we have here I just demonstrate two dimensions, but normally you have many, many dimensions. And then you want to find a line that's, or my, my dimension would be hyperplane, that separates one class from another class. So you can do that by defining a vector that is. Uh, uh, defined uh, by just the uh, expression that is vector is spanning this plane, and actually there might be many such plane, plane and you, you normally want to choose the one that is actually separating the best them them best. At all. However, there's a trick here, and that is the trick is that you in many cases you can't separate them because they're not linear. If you remember from the XOR function, for instance. So you have an e so what you do is you use what is called a kernel function. A kernel function is something that transforms the data from one sp dimensional space or something else, maybe in a high dimensional space, and then it's easily separated. So the extra function you can, for instance, th think about separating things into just taking square of these two numbers, and then you can separate by a single line. So you use many different fun kernel functions. There are some rules uh, what they can be, but in there. Are Ones, and it's actually a bit hard to know which one is the best. You can try to try. So I have an easy case, you have linear kernels, just separate these cases. As you see, you can find a fine, nice line here. However, you have a kind of polynomial kernel to separate things like that, or even a RBF kernel, you can separate things like 